Okay, <clears throat> I think while we're hunting, uh, it's always good to try some different things and uh, try to improve on the hunt or being able to photograph or videotape the hunt. Um, so I got an idea on YouTube. Um, I kind of adapted that idea a little bit and uh, made some modifications of my own. But it's basically uh, a, uh, a base that I built for my Panasonic Lumix camera and basically it's just a L bracket uh, that I cut and ground down and just uh, fabricated the uh, bolt and some spacers just some um, uh, some uh, sponge uh, spacers in between to make it soft between the camera and the brace and just the bolt is uh, I think it's quarter inch or three three eighths inch whatever fits in the bottom of your camera and you can see I also um, put some duct tape on the front of the camera in order to get rid of a little bit of the glare uh, that you would get while you're using it for for hunting but basically the uh, base and the camera fits uh, in behind the uh, stabilizer on the on the bow and I'll just show you that on the bow how it fits on here just remove the remove the stabilizer and attach it to the hole in the back of the base for the camera and then screw it back on and what you have is a camera adapted to fit onto your bow and very easy to then use and you can adjust it to make sure it's level see how close it is to the my hand holding the bow I can easily put the camera on tap it for video tap it for pictures I can hit the zoom button uh, zoom in zoom out uh, so this worked really great for the hunt uh, except for one thing I got some great video of the of my bull elk that I shot with the bow I got him I got some great video of him raking in the willows uh, before I shot so I got I think maybe a minute to two minutes of video of that and you'll see that in the uh, in the YouTube clip here but uh, I then ran out of battery life uh, so that's not the fault of the camera that's the fault of the operator so me and uh, I just ran out of uh, battery for the day because I'd been using it quite a bit during the day um, so unfortunately I don't have the video of the shot itself but I do have video of the, the bull elk with uh, his antlers raking up into the willows so pretty neat so um, a pretty nice device to adapt onto your bow I know a lot of guys use uh, GoPro uh, but if you've already got a camera uh, this works really well and you just have to fabricate it with an L bracket a metal L bracket you can buy that at Home Depot and put a little bit of spacer underneath so you can actually move it around if need be and really easy to put on take off uh, worked really great during the hunt so just like to share that with you guys uh, as an option uh, for when you're going out hunting as well uh, so fits fits really good onto the bow uh, another thing that uh, I used quite a bit was a selfie stick and I'm not a selfie stick kind of guy by any stretch of the imagination uh, but this selfie stick I bought from from Walmart and it's all uh, actually called the black web uh, $20 selfie stick it's fantastic you put your camera uh, your iPhone on there uh, your phone you can put your phone on there you can twist it so it's uh, um, landscape or portrait uh, it twists around and the nice thing about this selfie stick is it's got a remote control uh, so it's Bluetooth connected then to your phone so you can set it up as a selfie stick holding it or what's really nice about this one is it's got the tripod on the bottom so you can set it up on some terrain some rocks or along a, um, uh, a game trail and if you want to take some photographs some selfies especially if you're by yourself pretty handy with the remote control 
on this and it worked great. Uh, got some great footage during the uh, two weeks of hunting here in Colorado. So just another uh, option for you guys uh, when you're going hunting. Like I said, I'm not a selfie stick kind of guy and I would have swore before the hunt that I would have never bought one, but uh, this thing came in really, really handy during the hunt. Uh, so once again, it's made by, this one's made by Black Web. Uh, 20 bucks at Walmart, uh, really cheap, worked fantastic, built pretty solid, and uh, really nice to use. Another thing I used quite a bit was my InReach Mini. Uh, I did have cell coverage in Colorado in some places, but uh, in a lot of places I didn't have any cell coverage, so the InReach Mini works really good. Um, they're about 400 bucks Canadian. Um, to buy now you have to get the subscription so I got the uh, one month subscription I think for $79 and that gave me unlimited uh, texting on it so uh, really good safety feature if you're out hunting and uh, you need to be able to be in contact especially if you're by yourself if it's a solo hunt you're by, yourse by yourself in areas where you don't have any cell coverage then of course it's nice to have that and of course I've got my Garmin GPS uh, which a lot of you guys have some kind of GPS anyways so uh, another safety feature and just uh, you punch in your coordinates and great to get back and forth to where you need to go so that's it guys I just wanted to share some of the stuff uh, some of the things that worked uh, really well on the hunt here in Colorado and uh, thanks for taking the time to watch